Are we in this thing? Is the melanin on? Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you are doing fantastic. I am doing well. Make sure to go ahead and like this video. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow your girl on social media at Miss TP90. Yes, you have seen the title correctly. It is time for another What You Say Happen Now. If you don't know the What You Say Happen Now, I talk about any and everything that's going on right now. So down below in the comment section, make sure you get it popping with the topics that we are going to hit on. We're just going to jump right into it. The first thing that we're going to talk about is this Popeye's chicken sandwich. Let me tell y'all, I went out. I went to find it. We have three Popeye's in my city, okay? The first Popeye's I went to, I pull up, you know, I'm thinking, okay, we good. But I see the cars are moving a little too fast. I said, hold the hell up. Wait, it's right around the building, but it keeps moving fast. I get up to the thing. The girl goes, hey, um, thank you for coming to Popeye's. Just want to let you know we will not have the chicken sandwiches till September the 2nd. Other than that, we have everything else. How may I help you? I said, okay then. Well, pumpkin, thank you so much. I done set my happy ass in the line, okay? Ran my ass. It's been hot as hell, okay? It's the principle of the shit. Put it on the marquee. That's what the marquee is for. If you know people are coming for these chicken sandwiches, okay? I guarantee you, people do not want the $5 box right now. People want the chicken sandwich. Put this shit up on the marquee. If you don't have any, just put it up there. And granted, if somebody wants something else, they're gonna pull up, okay? Because either way, they're gonna scare, scare. So the pow the psychology of it all, even if they say, don't put it on the marquee, they might want something else. They gonna want something else regardless. Even if they've been waiting in line, if it's their lunch break, they're gonna get something. So I was like, okay, cool. No worries. I think I, I was in line maybe 15 minutes. But either way, I could have easily took my heavy ass inside and asked the question. Next, while I'm waiting, I said, well, let me just call. People aren't answering the phone. And I totally understand that. I would take the phone off the damn hook, okay? Because second of all, I'm not answering phones all day to say, yes, we have the sandwich. No, we don't have the sandwich. I'm not doing that. So take the phone off the hook. So I totally understand that. So I had my happy ass, the Popeye's number two. Popeye's number two, it's going well. You know, we're in the line, you know, the line is it's long. So I'm like, okay, great. My happy ass gets up to the thing. Little intercom, the girl go, hey, how you doing? Just wanna let you know we had a chicken sandwiches. I might help you. Well, shit, I don't want nothing. I skirt, skirt, I drive off. The third Popeyes, I was not going all the way on the other side of town. I'm not doing that. I, I just, oh my God, I was out of it. I was done. I didn't feel like doing it no more. Okay, so here's what Miss P is gonna do. You will get a Is That Good, the Popeyes, spicy, cause I want the spicy chicken sandwich edition. Will it be tomorrow? I don't know. Will it be next Tuesday? I don't know. Whenever it pops up, you'll know that I was able to get the sandwich, okay? But as far as me going, sitting in the line, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that again because it just sets me up for failure. So I'm going to wait a little bit for everything to die down and then I'll do my review. But just know I will do a review. I've seen all of you ask me, Miss P, can you do a review on the spicy sandwich so down below in the comment section let me know is this is it good i want to know from you all okay because i've seen so many people oh my god it's so good Ooh, mm. and then i've seen people go oh my god chick-fil-a is still better now i do have to say it depends on your palate your taste bud okay i love me a good old chick-fil-a chicken sandwich but i don't have to have it every single day as far as people loving the wendy's chicken sandwich I've never been a Wendy's chicken sandwicher. I've never been a McDonald's chicken sandwicher. I mean, if you in a crunch, either one will go. But I have to say, uh, Chick-fil-A is always going to be good. And you're going to always need you a good old Polynesian sauce. And baby, at the end of the day, they're going to keep going to Chick-fil-A. But I have to say, the power, the power, y'all, of marketing, the power of social media for this chicken sandwich. Because I have not seen a commercial, love that chicken for Papa. I have not seen a commercial for the chicken sandwich that made me go, oh my God, I wanna go up there and get me one of them chicken sandwiches. The power of social media. It's amazing that the power that we have as a people, and we don't even know the power that we have as a people over oh, a damn chicken sandwich. Now here's the second thing that I wanna tell y'all about. I've seen people fighting over chicken sandwiches, okay? That's a hell no, okay? And that's another thing. When I was at Popeye's number two, people were fighting over parking spaces. Baby, I don't have time. No, ma'am. I am not 
going to go back and forward with you over a parking spot over some damn chicken. No, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. I'm not getting in no fights over no chicken. Did y'all see that when people fighting over fucking chicken because they're out of it? No, I'm not going to do that. That's uh, uh, uh. I'm not doing no unnecessary shit but chicken sandwich. No. This is my last thing I'm going to say about Popeyes, but who would have thunk that Popeyes would have slid in for the 9-9 and 2000 with a chicken sandwich? Like, I, oh my God, I don't know. Like, I just think it's crazy. The crazes that happened. Who would have thought that Popeyes would have just slid in before September with a chicken sandwich and two different ones, a crispy and a spicy. Who would have said? Now down below in the comment section, I do want to know if you have tried the chicken sandwich. Let me know which one do you like better between Chick-fil-A and Popeyes. We got to talk about it. Down below in the comment section, and like I said, I have seen all of the comments, I've seen your requests, I will definitely do an Is That Good Popeye's edition with a special guest, okay? Uh, whenever I get a chance to get the chicken sandwich, okay? So I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but um, hopefully it'll be soon. I have received some questions from you all, like Miss P, why did you stop doing the Love and Hip Hop reviews? You haven't done any reviews during, you know, the summer, what's going on? Y'all know usually during the summertime I do drop off with my reviews and I pick up in the fall but nothing is on TV right now that really has me like <gasps> I will say power is coming back I am excited to see power this is the last season so of course I'm definitely going to watch it um this is the last season coming up for Empire uh Star you know they cut that off Claws is over with that's one of my favorites um Orange is the New Black is done with I'm still on the season before the last season. Oh, Queen Sugar, I still watch that. Like, that's one of my favorites. I really enjoy that show. All those reality TV shows right now are so dry to me that I just can't do it. I feel like everything is the same. Even Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, I'm reaching to watch it. Um, Black Ink. Uh, Chicago is one of my favorites. I still love that one. Uh, New York, it's reaching for me. Even the LA one, I like it, but it's reaching. Like everything has the same premise. Nothing is exciting for, to me, I don't know. Y'all might like it, but to me, I mean, it's, it's just reaching to me. It's the same thing. Down below in the comment section, I would love to know what are you watching? Uh, what shows are you watching? You never know, I might check it out, um, see what I think. That is my update for that because I have received a lot of questions. Like, Miss P, why you stop doing um, Love & Hip Hop reviews? Like, what had happened was what's going on that's because because you know it was just getting dry and if I don't connect to it I, I just can't do it there's a lot of music that's out right now but the main thing that I wanted to talk about is Missy Elliott Missy done dropped a new little it, it's not a it's not an album I'm not gonna say it's an album it's, it's a couple tracks you know what I'm saying there's a little stuff here and there but I'm excited for it regardless I mean she dropped um, a video like I'm excited I love Missy Elliott she's a genius to me and I don't use that word loosely you know how people say icon legend no she is I, I oh my god she's before her time even right now people are still trying to do groundbreaking shit that Missy been doing you know what I'm talking about the main reason why I'm speaking on this is the VMAs come on on Monday and as far as me doing a full-on review for the VMAs I highly doubt it I'll probably talk about um, Missy Elliott and her the Vanguard Award and her performance that is probably what you will see like a special what you say happen now VMA Vanguard edition because I even saw the um, commercial for the VMAs and I was like Hoppo who the hell are these children aside from uh, Lizzo, Lil Nas X, um, of course Taylor Swift and those that I know but some of them new children I was like who the hell is this hopefully it's a good show um we'll see will I watch the VMAs of course I am excited for Missy Elliott's Vanguard award I'm so excited for that it's much deserved I cannot wait to see her performance what did I think about the um little mini album that she put out I thought it was cute she's true to Missy but she's still putting out music that the kids gonna like nowadays you know what I'm saying I like it but I like shit I like anything that Missy puts out so I'm kind of biased about that down below in the comment section I would love to know what music are you listening to right now there's a lot of music that's out and people just put out shit and you don't even know that it's out unless you're on social media and you're like oh shit somebody let me swipe up it's crazy so make sure you follow me on my facebook fan page i asked you guys what topics you wanted me to hit on um for a uh, new what you say happen now and somebody had asked me on twitter uh miss p have you seen sex tuplets the uh barla wayans movie on netflix and i did check it out <laughs> can i say don't try to find any type of premise in it. Don't look at it to have any type of redeeming quality. You're not gonna tear up. 
it's a dumbass movie but I think you should still watch it just because Marlon Wayans is super super talented there's no way you can play like 8,000 characters like that is crazy as hell to me but it's a dumbass movie it's a dumbass movie I don't know how <laughs> it's just a dumbass movie like this shit is it's a dumbass movie but I did laugh throughout it not all the way through but I had some moments where I was like <laughs> and then I'd be like what the hell what what the hell am I watching so it's gonna be an hour and I think 20 minutes of your time that you can't get back but you should watch it just to look at it to be like what the hell so yes um, to answer that question I did watch sex tuplets um should you watch it it's up to you. If you like dumbass movies, then sure. Another question that I received over on the Twitter is my thoughts on the whole uh, Jay-Z NFL situation. Um, <laughs> I did watch the interview with Dame Dash, with Dame Dash. Dame Dash is going forever not fuck with Jay-Z, okay? He was like, everybody know that Jay-Z ain't shit. And when the um, interviewer was like, can you elaborate on what do you mean Jay-Z ain't shit? It's about it's about the bottom line. As far as Jay-Z and the whole NFL um, situation, we don't even know what the hell he's doing with the NFL right now. Everybody loves to make assumptions and we do that in our society today. We have so much accessibility, but at the same time, we know nothing about nothing. Okay, we do know that Jay-Z is speaking with the NFL about a certain deal, but we don't know not nothing about the deal. Until we know more of the details, shit, I can't speak about it. So I really do not know. Um, as far as the whole thing with Jermaine Dupri and um, B. Cox and all of them speaking, I, I really don't understand that either. Um, I've seen interviews and they're all talking in circles. I feel as though do what you want to do over here. Let Jay-Z do what he's doing over here. Y'all continue to get your money and build your empires and do all of that. But if you want to work together, work together. But if somebody's telling you, bro, I don't think you should do that. It's up to you if you do it or not. So let me head on over to the Miss P TV fan page and see what you all uh, wanted me to hit on. Alex Morgan wanted me to hit on the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I think I did hit on that. And Amanda Burnell, same thing with the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Also Tanya Taylor. Ooh, here's a good one. Um, Talisa Bridges and also Nita Anderson wanted me to hit on the whole Brian McKnight situation with his kids. And for those of you who don't know, um, Brian McKnight, he was on on Instagram and um, his kids had went on social media as well to basically blast Brian McKnight saying he was a deadbeat dad. Brian McKnight was like, hold the hell up. We gonna go back at one for this, okay? Absolutely not. I'm taking care of these grown ass men for too long and I told him, hey, I'm gonna pay for your, um, pay your bills and whatever for two years and then you gotta figure it out. Basically, it's a big old back and forth through social media with him and his kids, which I think is really, really heartbreaking. First of all, I think it's truly sad that you have to go and defend yourself, your current wife and your new children against your older kids and then y'all can't get along. It, it's, it's too much. I really don't like it that he had to come back and defend himself, but at the same time, I mean, hey, this is your reputation. You're still on the road, you're still doing all this stuff, and this is still how you make your money, okay? I think it's really sad. People really do not have that luxury to say, well, thank you so much for taking care of all my bills so I can get myself together if I wanna get myself together. Hopefully, um, they can get it together, but kinda like what um, Brian McKnight was saying, like, we've been estranged. The wife was trying to get us to get back together, but we've been estranged, so it's kinda like, Brian is like, child, I'm moving on with this new life. And maybe that's why the kids feel a type of way. Those are your kids. And at the same time, that's your dad. So hopefully they can get it together. But child, toxic energy, child, that seems like a mess. Eileen Addy says, random fun one. Are you gonna watch kids say the darndest things? I used to love it back in the day and I love Tiffany Haddish. You know what? I've seen some commercials for it and I love those cutesy little shows. Even when um, Steve Harvey was doing um, Little Big Shots, I thought it was so cute and hilarious. I'll probably DVR it. And as far as Tiffany Haddish being the host, I think that's cute. Thank you guys so much for sending out your topics and um, make sure you follow me on my social media because I will be asking what you guys want me to talk about next. But honey, I think we have done a lot of talking on this What You Say Happen Now. Make sure you get it popping down below in the comments section because I will be doing some shout outs on the next what you say happen now there's stuff happening all the time even if we're not talking about love and hip-hop or you know a tv show i know we can hit on something that's happening in the world there's plenty of shit 
that's going on. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and wah-wah. That good stuff. God bless. Bye.